there, fellow fish keepers. Uh, Mike with the fish tank barn again. Today we're going to go take a tour of the salty side of the fish tank barn. Uh, we are going to take a look at the clownfish breeding setup. So we're going to take a look at uh, all seven of the tanks in the clownfish breeding setup. Uh, explain to you how it works. Uh, explain to you a little bit about how clownfish reproduce if you've not seen that before. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. with. So let's talk a little bit about uh, clownfish breeding itself. Uh, if you can see here, this is a pair of clownfish in your screen. Uh, what will happen is the larger fish will become the female, uh, so that will be the most dominant fish socially. And then the uh, smaller fish will become the male. Uh, clownfish are classified as demersal spawners. So similar to uh, many like South American cichlids, uh, clownfish will spawn on like a slate or, on a, or in a flower pot. Uh, so a lot of your typical breeding setups for clownfish will just include a flower pot and uh, basically something like a 20 gallon tank uh, with some filtration. Uh, doesn't have to be terribly fancy. Clownfish generally lay the eggs in the flower pot, and then after 7 to 10 days, the fry hatch. They are microscopic, so you would need to get rotifers and set up a green water system. Uh, to learn more about breeding clownfish, uh, go ahead and check out the uh, card that's up here. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual tour. All right, uh, this is the uh, clownfish breeding setup here. Uh, it is a total of seven tanks. Uh, Lighting-wise, uh, we just use these LED strip lights. Basically, in front of the system here, this is just some uh, toolbox uh, drawer covering. So I do want to show you the sump. This sump was installed a few months ago. I actually have not turned on the protein skimmer yet. I uh, just haven't gotten around to it, honestly. There's no good reason. We do have the auto top-off up here. I uh, really do like the uh, Neptune Systems auto top-off. Uh, we'll put a link to that in the uh, description. Keep in mind that that is an affiliate link. Uh, if you do choose to click on that, I will get a small commission for that. But uh, just your simple sump setup. Uh, I've got some bio balls in here. Uh, goes through the two chambers, into the skimmer chamber, and then uh, into the return. So uh, nothing too complicated there in terms of filtration. I uh, do run this with a uh, MAG-18 pump, which I found to work pretty well for this application. All right, the uh, first fish I'm going to show you here are my uh, black snowflake pair. I've had these probably about uh, six months or so. Uh, not really seen any spawning behavior out of these guys, but as you can see here, one of the things I do run in a lot of these tanks is the Zis filter. I uh, really do like the biological filtration aspect of it, especially in these smaller tanks. This is the uh, Spot Synctus Clown. Um, fortunately, I did lose the female. Uh, so what I'll probably do is get a uh, smaller fish to make the male. This fish will turn to the female and uh, we'll go ahead and get those going all right heading on over here now we do have the lightning maroon uh, another one of my favorites for sure if you've never checked out how this fish is created i will put a link to the uh, lightning maroon clownfish link in the description of this video but uh this is a pretty special fish i don't know if i will actually pair this up in the 20 gallon tank here uh just because of the aggression issues we'll go ahead and see uh what we what we do with it all right um, i did set up this tank a little bit differently uh this tank actually is home to my Alardi clownfish pair. Uh, these guys uh, hail from Africa, uh, so you can find these off the coast of Africa. Uh, so definitely wanting to grow these guys out. I uh, got these as tiny fry uh, probably about eight months ago or so, but uh, definitely looking forward to getting uh, some spawning activity out of these. I found these actually at an LFS, um, and they were itty bitty little fry um, in like a little nano tank. So I uh, got these guys in the 20 gallon tank now. So uh, definitely uh, pretty excited to get these guys grown up and get them going. Another cool inhabitant of this tank is the Molly Miller Blenny. Uh, definitely a pretty cool little nano fish. Uh, definitely kind of fun to have here with the Alardi clowns. All right, uh, we're now looking at uh, my snowflake clowns. Uh, these guys have had for quite a while. Uh, these actually have spawned for me. Don't see a spawn in there right now, but uh, definitely one I do want to get going again. All right, uh, looking here now. Uh, fish just swam off, but that is the the remaining tomato clown. And unfortunately, I did lose uh, the female from the spawning pair. Uh, so more than likely, I am going to go ahead and get a smaller tomato clown at some point and uh, go ahead and get these going again. All right, we're going to come to the last tank here. Uh, you're not going to see any fish in here right now. And that kind of leads to the question of what's next. Kind of thinking a couple different things here. Uh, thinking maybe a... A uh, pair of Bengay Cardinals and kind of do some colony breeding with some Bengay Cardinals. Uh, maybe a Dottieback species. Uh, those are kind of an easier species to get to spawn. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, definitely some things to keep in mind. Well, there's definitely quite a bit of work to do here in the clownfish breeding setup portion of the fish tank barn. Uh, do want to get this more of a focus uh, going 
into the uh, latter parts of 2020. Uh, there are definitely some fish I need to get paired up and uh, kind of get that rolling again. So uh, if you guys have any uh, fish suggestions, definitely uh, hit that up in the comments. I do have a couple of other ideas, too, um, about maybe adding some tanks to the bottom of that setup as well. Anyways, uh, if you guys appreciate it, go ahead and check out some of the videos at the end. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the subscription button, ding the notification bell, and as always, stay fishy, keep on breeding, and we'll catch you on the next video.